Hello, hello gang, Kim here and welcome on back to my happy place. So guys, today is the second time that I am going to be bringing you all my monthly whip parade. So basically, I filmed a video like this and put it up on my channel last month and it was a big hit with all of you guys. You loved seeing my whips. I got a lot of positive comments after that video and a lot of you said that you would like to see this become a regular feature on this channel. So with that in mind, I'm obviously now going to be bringing you monthly whip parades. So I've decided to pretty much do these towards the end of every month. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the video off by just giving you some stats and letting you know what has changed between the last month's video and the current video. Um, what I've also decided is that I am not going to make these video videos overly long. In my first video, I do think that I probably gave a little bit too much information maybe about each and every kit because the idea is not to replace my reveal and review videos. It's just literally to show you the kits and to give you the stats on those kits. In other words, the sizes, what the drill shape is, um, the number of colors and so on. I don't want to comment too much about my experience working on the kits just because like I say, that's the whole point of a reveal and review video. You know, those videos, I really do spend time on them. I love showing you guys the finished product and then obviously telling you about the kit. So in this video I am intentionally going to try not to go into as much detail as I did in the first video but obviously I'm going to show you my canvases, I'm going to show you um, how far I've gotten and I might make one or two sort of fleeting passing comments about them but I'm not going to go into detail about them. Right, so now to give you guys some stats that apply to this month vis-a-vis -vis what you saw in the last video. So in my last whip and chat, you saw six whips. I had six whips underway at that stage. At the moment, I have seven. And I can't actually do more than seven because seven is pretty much taking up all my storage containers. <laughs> And I refuse to buy any more storage containers because I've realized with me, if I have storage containers, I'm going to get stuff up. So seven is my max. So that is what you are going to see in today's video. There are going to be seven. Um, the other interesting fact to note is that all seven come from different stores. So I really am putting my best foot forward to work on different companies and diamond paintings from different stores so that I can give you guys good feedback about these various stores so that you also have different options, you know, to buy your diamond paintings from, you know, if and when you are ready to do so. Okay, gang. So, oh, sorry. One other thing I wanted to say as well. Let me tell you how many rounds I'm working on versus squares. So at the moment, I am working on four rounds and three squares. Um, I think I'd mentioned to you guys in a previous video that I was getting a little bit tired of squares. And so I did kit up quite a few rounds, but I am working on squares at the same time. And obviously, you know, I'm just a square girl. I do just love my squares. Okay, so I get a little bit tired of them now and then, but I always gravitate back to them. So you will see three squares in amongst these seven kits. Right, gang, so with that all said as the introduction and as the stats, let's kick things off. Okay, so on your screen now, and what I did last time as well, is um, I'm going to be showing you kits in the order that I started working on them first. So in other words, this kit is going to be the kit that I have had kitted up and been working on for the longest amount of time. And the last kit that you're going to see in the video will be my most recent kit up. So I hope that makes sense. So let's start off with this one. As I, I push her up and down, I will give you some stats. So right, this one is one that you have seen before. She was in my last video as well. I'm happy to say that I have made some progress on her. And I'm also happy to say that I've made progress on all of the kits that you are going to see that you saw last time as well. So this kit comes from Yamido, which is an AliExpress store. The artist is Yuri Uda. 
This is an artist that I contacted directly myself to get his permission to use this art or to buy this art. Because like I say, I saw it in that store and I knew who the artist was. And I'm also familiar with the fact that obviously the AliExpress stores don't um, legally license the artwork. So I did contact this artist and I got his permission to obviously work on this one as a diamond painting. So guys, this is a round drill diamond painting in the size 45 by 60 centimeters. It came with a total of 32 colors and this is a crystal drill canvas. The entire thing is crystal drills. Right, now to refresh your memories, in my last video I had shown you that I had done this whole bottom section here, a row, and I'd gotten up to here where the heart is. I had only done like half of the square. So I'm happy to show you that I did in fact finish that. I then did a square over there and obviously I've done one over here and I have started here as well. I've done a few here. So I'm making progress guys, which is good news. <laughs> Because this one, oh, I don't know what it is. I'm just not gravitating towards working on it. I'm just really, really having to push myself. There is nothing wrong with the, the quality of this canvas. So let me just say that. And obviously, I'm going to keep my full thoughts for my post review. But for now, I just wanted to show you that I have indeed made some progress. And I'm hoping to make more. Um, obviously, by the time you see my next whip parade, this one will not be finished. I know that for a fact because I am having to force myself to work on it. And I'm sort of saying to myself that I need to try and get one or two of these squares done a week. So it's not going to be finished by the next video. But just to show you guys, progress has been made. There you can see, like I say, once again, I got up to there and I'm now up to here. Okay, everyone, then the next canvas on your screen right now is from Dreamer Designs. This one is called Mariposa. The artist is Curtis Rykovich. This is a 60 by 80 square drill diamond painting. It came with a total of 66 colors and 6 ABs. Now, this is another one that you saw in my last video. I'm not going to be able to show you you know the entire thing because as i showed you in my last video i have rolled it up you can see here it's rolled up there's a foam roller in there bulldog clips and that applies to to both sides obviously so i'm not going to unroll it for for the point of or purpose of this video but let me just show you what i can so there is the bottom obviously the rolled up bit and then just to push her up and to show you that I did make some progress on this one as well. So there we are pretty much at the top. So from last month, I had gotten up to about here. So I had a square here to do and all of these here weren't done yet. So I have made some progress, not a lot with this kit. Um, I didn't work on it that much in the last month, I must be honest. Due to the size of it, it's just a kit that doesn't fit easily over my easel. And my easel is what I use in the TV room in the evenings when I am watching TV. This one tends to stay on my desk in my office slash study slash hobby room. And so with being on sick leave now for a while, I wasn't using my desk very much and so I didn't work on this one very much but I'm happy to say that some progress was made so basically what I would consider to be four squares one square on the end here and then the three squares there this one is coming along nicely I'm getting to the section now with all the oranges and the yellows lots of color in her face obviously so yes I'm hoping really hoping and holding thumbs that I'm going to be able to get this one finished fairly soon um, this one was kitted up already in early July, and so I am getting quite anxious now to get this one finished. And then another kit that you guys have seen before, because this one did make an appearance in my last video as well. This one is a custom that I ordered from Evermoment. It is my own um, AI art. So this one I decided to call Darkness Blooms. Like I say, I did order this one from Ever Moment, so it is a square drill diamond painting. Um, it came with 38 colors and no ABs. That was intentional. With Ever Moment, you can order ABs if you want to. I didn't want to, and so I didn't order any. This one I started towards the middle of August, 
and I'm happy to say again I have made progress. I can't remember exactly where I was when I showed this one to you guys in my first video last month. I could have been down here. I know I definitely hadn't done this section here. So yes, this one, I might have been working over here. I really can't remember. You guys would have to check that video if you were interested. But it, I mean, nothing turns on it. I'm just showing you where I got up to. And I'm pretty happy with what I've done. Because this section here is extremely confetti heavy. This here and the petals around the flowers and this flower as well. So let me just put that on, on your screen. So there was a lot of confetti action going on there. So I'm quite happy to be through that section and then I've made progress. If I pull this one down, you'll see that I'm getting to sections here now where there is quite a bit of color blocking. Um, all of these symbols that are the heart are basically the 310. So I've still got quite a lot of confetti to do in these two sections. And then I move into, yeah, and maybe up there as well. But then I do also move into sections with decent amounts of color blocking. So as always, I'm absolutely loving working on this. The square drills are just fantastic. Zero. I mean, zero gapping and zero popping. I don't know how ever moment do it. I'm, I'm honest when I say that because these drills are tight. In fact, maybe bordering on a little bit too tight. But again, I'm going to keep those comments and all my thoughts about that for my post review. So keep your eye out for that. The minute I'm finished this one, I'll obviously do a post review and then I'll let you know my thoughts on the drills in this specific canvas. But yes, guys, isn't it just turning out to be absolutely gorgeous? I think I said to you all before that I'm just loving the solid black, the 310 in the background and then these pops of color you know the juxtaposition of all of this color through this piece so yes one that i'm very happy with hopefully if all goes according to plan this will be the last time you will see this one in a whip parade i'm hoping that i can get this one finished um you know before the end of next month then can you guys believe how much progress i've made with this one <laughs> I actually am shocked I've made this much progress, but let me give you some stats before we talk about the actual progress I've made and the kit itself. So this one is called Floral Kitsune. The artist is Funera. I bought this um, gorgeous piece from the one with the diamond art. They are a UK based store, but they do ship to um, the States. So this one comes in the size 50 by 60 centimeters. It's a round drill diamond painting. It came with a total of 40 colors and two ABs. So there you go. I've pushed this one up and down just to give you a last look before I move to the bottom of the canvas to show you guys something. So I've gotten all the way up to here, you guys, and there's the top there. Right, so this is another one that did make an appearance in my last video. And if you remember, I had literally done this tiny piece down here in the corner it was literally small like that size and I remember saying to you guys oh my gosh this one is going to take me forever because the confetti is off the freaking charts and that is true the confetti is off the charts but look how far I've managed to get <laughs> I'm just loving every second of this one I just think the confetti has really worked well in this piece. I don't think it's necessarily an unnecessary confetti. That's a whole conversation for another video, so keep your eyes on my channel for that. I do quite a nice, well, I think it's quite a nice video discussing unnecessary confetti and comparing different kits from different stores. That is going to be up very soon, so keep your eye out for that. But look how far I've gotten, you guys. Okay, so most of you know I have recently, well, not so recently, as at the filming of this video just over three weeks ago, by the time this goes up four weeks ago, I was diagnosed with um, having a condition called Bell's palsy. I'm not going to discuss that here and now because I have already done a whip and chat about it and I'm going to do another one um, telling you guys about my progress, where I am, how my face looks, etc., etc. Um, because so many of you have been so kind and have sent the most amazing messages and a number of you are wanting an update. So I will film a whip about that. The only reason I'm mentioning it now is because I obviously was booked off work for the last two weeks. And so I have managed to do a lot of diamond painting. And so what you're going to see from here on out is you are going to see a lot of progress on kits. You are going to think that I'm a super fast diamond painter. <laughs> 
I'm not really. It's just that I had a lot of time. So guys, I'm really, really having a good experience with this canvas. I do have some thoughts and I do have some things to tell you guys about. But again, that's not or well, this video is not the right video for all of that. So keep your eye out for my post review. This one, I can just tell you I am working in very small sections because of how hectic the confetti is. Is it going to be finished before my next whip parade? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm hoping it will be, but it may not be. You know, sometimes I get sidetracked working on certain canvases. And also, I am now going back to work full time. And so I'm not going to have the same amount of time to work on my kits. But obviously, this one is a current whip and it's just absolutely stunning. Right, and then the kit that you are seeing now is making a first time appearance. I have done an unboxing video of this one on my channel, so you can go and find that if you're interested in it. This one is called Rapunzel. The artist is Rose Prophet, and I bought this one from Pam Diamond Paintings. So this is another round drill canvas. Its size is 50 centimeters by 85 centimeters. It came with a total of 48 colors and five ABs. So I'm just pushing it ever so slowly all the way up and down so that you guys can see it is long. So let me just start here. This is the bottom, obviously. Guys, look how far I've gotten with this piece. Sorry, it's just stuck on the top of my table. So like I said, there, there is the bottom. There is the bottom. And then moving upwards... Can you guys believe how far I've got it? I'm probably just under, well, not probably. I am just under halfway. I'd say I'm probably at about 40%. Um, or once I've finished, let me just put it here like this. Once I've finished this row, I'm going to be at about 40%. Now, this is just one of those dark art canvases that I just loved. And the minute I saw these or this series being released by Rose Prophet, I jumped all over it. I've actually now ordered a total of seven of these. I think they are 12. I think it's a series of 12. Don't quote me on that, but plus minus 12. And I've actually ordered seven. I have four currently in my stash and I have another three that I'm waiting for. So just to show you what I haven't done yet, there is obviously the bottom of the line plus these um, release papers. And then I've got all of the sections still to go. Now, guys, this piece is ridiculously confetti heavy if you are not a confetti lover then i would not recommend buying canvases from pam diamond paintings the confetti is seriously hectic when it comes to her paintings i know a lot of people say well it depends on the image and so on and so on yes that is obviously relevant and does play a part but there are some stores where the computer rendering is just such that the conf confetti is off the charts crazy. This is one of those pieces. There are sections of this canvas where I would say there's unnecessary confetti. But in general, I'm really enjoying it and I'm loving how it's turning out. So, you know, at the bottom here, you've got these chains. Um, then you've got her pretty dress with purples in it. Then you've got some gore and horrible stuff going on over here. <laughs> But in general, I mean, yes, the confetti is off the chart. So please just be aware of that. Something else that I want to show you and that I need to correct. In my unboxing video, I had mentioned that the artist didn't put her signature on the bottom. Rose Prophet is known for putting her signature on the bottom of the canvases, which lots of people do not like. And some people have actually not bought canvases because they don't like having the name here. When I unboxed this canvas, I could not see that name. It looked like the name was not there. But please just note a correction. Rose Prophet has put her signature over there. Rose Prophet herself did watch my unboxing video and she commented on it to say that she has now stopped doing that. So with her latest um, releases that will be released on Pam's website and others, she also supplies other stores or legally licenses her images to other stores. She is no longer going to be putting her signature in the bottom like she has here, which I personally agree with. I don't like to have the signature there. And you can't really see it. I mean, through the camera, this is looking clearer. But even if you didn't know that this said Rose Prophet, would you be able to even see it? So it almost just looks like a squiggle. And to me, as I'm standing here looking at this canvas, it is not as clear as it is in the camera. And I can't see what that says. It just looks like a hodgepodge, miggledy mush of 
I don't know what. So I would definitely prefer that that isn't there. But yes, just to confirm that her newer releases um, won't have that signature. So I just want to do correct that. And I will obviously in my post review also mention that as well. So guys, I think that is all I'm going to say about this kit. Let's move on to the next one. Then showing off my second last kit, this one is Dream from JoJo's Art and purchased from Diamond Art Club. You guys would have seen a very recent unboxing for this one on my channel. This one comes in a size 52 centimeters times 63 centimeters. It is a square drill kit and it has a total of 37 colors and this one did not come with any ABs. Now guys, again, you are going to get a shock when you see how far I've gotten with this one. That is obviously the top, pushing it down. Oh, and these square drills, Diamond Art Club and these squares. As you guys know, I will only buy squares from Diamond Art Club in ever moment. And this kit is just another example of why. So basically, guys, I mean, you just saw an unboxing and look at how far I've gotten. I'm basically at the halfway mark. Um, in fact, just... This line here, you know, this washi tape line here is more than the halfway mark. It's probably 55%. But then, of course, I haven't quite finished this, um, this square over there. So, yeah, maybe just a little bit less than the halfway mark. But this one, guys, look how stunning it's turning out. Just the blues and then all this pop of orange. I'm loving working on the fish. Working on the blues is great. I love blue as well, but then it's so nice when I get to a fish because I get to work on all this orange happiness over here. And look how cute these fish are coming out. I just absolutely love this piece. Now, you may not be able to tell from looking at it on your screen, but I had thought this one would be fairly color blocking heavy or a color blocking dream and it hasn't been it has been pretty confetti heavy and i'm realizing why because there is so much blue but it's done in shading so to get this tiger looking as gorgeous as he is there are lots of different blue shades um, in lines in patches in dots everywhere so the confetti has been fairly hectic which means I'm sure you can tell that I am working on a lot of confetti heavy canvases I am definitely going to need to kit up something with a lot of color blocking um, once one of these is finished and my storage containers become free because um, like I said this is a lot of confetti overall but just another great piece uh, just to show it to you again a last quick pan not wanting to say too much about it I mean there really actually isn't that much to say about it guys because it's just another absolutely quality piece from diamond art club that i'm loving working on loving the colors loving the quality of the drills you know that you know what i'm going to say with diamond art club it's the normal story it's pretty much if i have a bad or negative experience with a diamond art club kit it's a real exception to the rule it's not to say it doesn't happen and when it does i will be blatantly honest about it but i'm lucky in that my experiences with diamond art club have just been top notch um, and this canvas is another one that I'm just absolutely loving. And then last up for today, guys, is this piece that I have decided to call Lola. This is my own image. I sent this one off to a company called Sunica, Sunica Diamond Paintings, and I had a custom made. So this is Lola. She is in a size 45 by 60 centimeters. This is a round drill kit with a total of 42 colors and 8 ABs. Um, this one I started working on towards the middle of October. So I'm just going to push her up and down so that you can get a feel for her. Now, some of you may remember that I have tried a kit from Sunica once before and I wasn't blown away. It was a square drill kit. I do have a post review on my channel for those of you that are interested. And I had some concerns and some problems with that kit, namely the symbols and the drills. So I gave that company feedback. They were very receptive to feedback. They were very kind. They did not take offense. They did not block me. And they then came back to me to tell me that there had been a problem with the printing at the time when I ordered that kit and that things had been resolved. And so for that reason, I decided to try a round drill kit. And this is indeed what we're working on here. I just want to show you that I've just done all I've managed to get through, obviously, is this bottom section. So, yes, this will be one that 
I will continue working on and that you will probably see again in my next um, whip parade video because I doubt very much that this one is going to be finished. My experience is improved. It's better than what I had last time, but it's not faultless. Um, I am still having some issues with, with this one. I have, again, been in touch with the store. I have feedback from them. Um, it's, it's all good. It's all good. I really like how the store constantly wants to improve and they don't take feedback in a negative way. So I will fill you guys in on all of that, on my experiences, what my concerns were, what I think has indeed been approved, uh, not approved, improved, and also the feedback that I've received from their store um, or this store and also the general attitude from them in regard to feedback and, and constructive criticism. So I have quite a lot to say about this one, but I am going to keep that for the post review. You know, I'm not going to go into all of that now, but just to show you again, I do love this image. So let me just pan her up and down. I really do love the image. There's also a lot of use of ABs in this one. And I also have comments to make about that. So again, keep your eyes peeled for this post review, which is not going to be anytime soon, I don't think. But, you know, obviously once I've finished her, then I will give you guys a full proper review. And like I say, I do have quite a bit to say in regard to the store. So guys, that wraps up this month's Whip Parade. I think the video has ended up being longer than I wanted it to be. But again, it is seven canvases. So I suppose with seven canvases, there's no way it was going to be a short video. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. Hopefully once again, you've enjoyed seeing what I'm working on and the progress I've made and all these different kits because they all come, all seven of them come from different companies like I mentioned at the beginning of this video. So guys, how has your month been? Has your diamond painting journey been great? Have you gotten a lot of diamond painting done? I feel I really have gotten a lot of diamond painting done, but as I mentioned, it's due to the fact that I haven't been at work um, and I've just been trying to relax and doing things that cause me to be relaxed and that I love to do and that are just good for me and diamond painting is one of those things. So I do feel I made a lot of progress. I'm hoping that by next month at least two or three of these kits are going to have fallen off and I will have new kits to show you. There will obviously be some where you will see them again and you may even see some again and again. <laughs> it just depends on what I feel like working on at the time. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me today and thank you for choosing to spend your time with me. I'm so glad that you did. If you are new to the channel and you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. I'm slowly creeping towards the thousand subscriber mark, slowly, <laughs> and I would love to get there by the end of the year. So if you want to support the channel, please do subscribe. Anyway, you guys, happy diamond painting. Bye.